today we're gonna play one of the best platformers ever, I think. One of the most celebrated, at least. Uh, it's Donkey Kong Country 2. I am incredibly happy that I'm about to play this video game. I'm also probably going to complain more than once during this video game. I almost started this off with different art, but it didn't it didn't feel right having uh, Dixie not be present. And it's it's like the title screen picture where they're at the treasure chest. It's Diddy and Dixie, except it's like weird inflatable and also fuzzy Mario. I don't know what's up with this. He's like doesn't he look like he's like an inflatable toy? And he's got like really weird real looking hair. It's just like a weird parallel universe that I don't want to visit. So I played the GBA version of this game. It has the same like music and all that, but I think it had a different title screen. It was like them on a pirate ship. Oh, <laughs> get rid of that. Wait, this the switch has like an ugly ass overlay. Look at that shit. Mm. <clears throat> get rid of it. I listened to that theme so many times. I used to put my Game Boy under my pillow so that I wouldn't accidentally hit the buttons and then just lie there and listen to the intro screen music of this game on the Game Boy Advance. I can't. I, my dream is to be able to do that noise properly. I just never can. It's it's hard to do. Oh, let's just beat the whole level like this. Fuck it. This is like extra hard mode. Just beat the game in stack mode. Totem dong. Do they beat the shit out of each other in this one too? I I don't. I don't think so. Iconic fucking. It's like Um Jammer Lammy and Dixie Kong need to jam out. You know. Not quite as good as Diddy Kong's fucking like rap though. That shit is legendary. Also, I forgot you move forward when you throw things as Dixie Kong. <laughs> Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong controlling like way different is kind of neat. Wow, you just go slightly forward. Nice. I love the way those coins look. When I was younger, I always liked those like thick coins. It was like thick coins and like crystals were things that excited my young mind. I tried to stomp that guy. I, you can't jump off of these? What? Okay. I was trying to jump off of those. I'm gonna learn how to play this game again. Holy shit. I always hear hate for Kitty Kong. Somebody's like, yeah, Dixie's fine. I, I don't like Kitty Kong, though. And, uh... I get it. When you die as Kitty Kong, the worst sound effect ever known to man plays. I don't know if it's the same on all versions of it, but in the version I played, he goes like... And it's like all bit-crushed and terrible. They sort of start you off slow with the music in this game. They're like, no, we're not gonna hit him with the jams just yet. We're gonna start him out with a little more ambient stuff, all right? Then we're gonna we're gonna ease them into it. A frog doesn't know it's being boiled if you turn up the heat slowly. It is a crusty looking game. It does like it has aged visibly, not to such a horrendous amount that some other games have aged. Like everyone knows, this game was ahead of its time in terms of graphics, graphisk, but uh. You know. Now, you can see its age. I guess it, I'm looking at it on, like, the tiny computer screen on my monitor, where I have, like, the preview of the video. Uh, it doesn't look so bad there. But on my big TV, uh, it doesn't look great. <laughs> I was thinking if they had, like, you know, the, the whole way that they made this is they made, like, the 3D renders and then they compressed them. If they still had the uncompressed versions of that, could they not just slap together a remake of this? And just, like, apply all the assets? I guess maybe they, like, the technology they used for this is so old, they couldn't really do that now or something. Find the token. Oh, this one's kind of fun. It's gotta be in the third one. Yep. It, listen, there are rules. That's that's not that I remembered it. There are rules to this sort of thing. It's like those three blocks in Super Paper Mario, where it's like, hit them in a certain order, and it's like, literally the only one that you could do is middle, like, middle, right, left, you know? If you're approaching it from the right. It's like, psychologically, that is the only combination you can do, because that's like, the random combination that you can do with three different ones. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Anyone else know what I'm fucking saying right now? Or am I just speaking the words of a man? Was that actually RNG? Are you for real, chat? Don't I feel like a dunce? I stand by with the nonsense that just like, dribbled out of my mouth, though. Sneeze, sniff. Oh, it costs two coins after that. What the fuck? That's how she, like, gets you. She starts you out with a free one. But after that, you gotta pay. Did it really- Did B really just confirm that menu, like, ten times? Because I was literally hitting the button B. That is, I, I literally pressed the, the button with the B on it. That's some, like, Dark Souls shit. It's swanky time. Give him a big hand, folks! Good evening, I'm S Swanky Kong. 
He really is the lesser version of Funky Kong. This is where the quiz is. What is my name? He has amnesia. I'm scared to hit any button. I, ah! I'm so glad it was the real one because I was so scared to hit a button and then the frame it went over it was when I decided to hit a button. I hate that shit. That's like that Dark Souls dialogue shit. I, I'm literally not going to press anything for like an hour. I am waiting. Okay, it has changed over. Fuck me. <laughs> I didn't even read the question, though. I, I hated that. I hated everything about that. Yeah, Swanky gets completely outshined by Funky. Look at this man, he's panting like a dog! I remember when I was younger, this was this was one of the early games that I ever, like, it was one of my first real video games that I ever even saw. It was like at a friend's house, they had a SNES, and they were showing me Donkey Kong Country 2, and I remember this map screen really well. And I think it was the lava area, right? Yeah. It was like this specific screen I saw on like an actual SNES at, at a friend's house, and I was like, Wow! When I was like 10, you know? And then I eventually got the Game Boy Advance version of the game, and I was like, Wow! Oh, the fucking spider with the drip! Oh, this is a yo! Has anybody played DKC2 since this dumb drip meme has happened, or did I just stumble upon a fucking gold mine? I genuinely don't even- I don't even know what that means! I've heard it's like- it means you're like- it's- it's like the new version of On Fleek, I'm pretty sure. I love this thing, you can make your own platforms. Seems broken, uh, cause it is. You can just lay them out every level. <laughs> it's like the cape in Mario World, I guess. Cool camera moment. Cool camera moment that made me lose the goddamn spider. That was very bizarre. Do I get to keep Drip Spider after this? I don't think I do. I do. Oh, I got- I, I actually do, but I, I- I- I was- I was launched into a sticky situation. Oh wait, can I just go get him back though? Hold on. Okay, uh, right, I just need to shoot them. I just- I forgot he has like a normal projectile and then instantly kill him for a life. <laughs> nice. Clubba's Koisk. That's how I used to pronounce it. There was a kiosk in Neopets, and there was a kiosk in this game, and both times I thought they were pronounced Koisk, because I just didn't even look at it. Now hear this, landlubbers! And across me bridge, it's gonna cost you many coin. Yeah, okay, and then he just- I think he just beats your fucking ass if you try to get through him without, like, the payment. Yeah! He just yeets you off the screen. I love that shit. We got some, like, fucking industrial dong music. I think it's their secret over here. Oh shit, I thought- Ooh, That is right nerve-wracking, mate. Right nerve-wracking. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at him! Good god. Also, was that a custom death jingle? In, like, the sound font of this stage? Has that always been a thing? Is that a thing? I thought it went in in, like, piano. Like, ragtag, ragtime piano. It is in this game. That's- that's weird. Maybe that's not in, like, the Game Boy Advance version, because I definitely don't remember that. <laughs> These guys that wear the little bandanas. Necky. Called, like, Lil Necky, or whatever. Do I need to talk about how dumb this is? Like, it's fine, it's a video game. But that is just- is it just- it's actually just really hot, spicy water. That is being cooled down by a seal. That's shooting ice into it. It's not lava. These literally aren't lava levels. It's just really hot water that is so hot that it's red. It's so weird that you have to pay to save in this. Oh. Oh, it's at each different place. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Let's confirm it. If you press B. If you press God damn B there. It confirms it, man. That's awful. That is just awful. Fucking just shoved a rhinoceros. What do you even call that? A rhinoceros horn? I almost called it a spear. Also, that fucking sucked. Did you see what happened there? Rambi did, like, the automatic attack while that guy was still in his barrel. And while he was, like, behind us. That was awful. <laughs> it, like, cancelled out anything I could have done. Okay, let's not have any fucking, like, funny stuff happen. Like, murder that thing. Get it out of here before we jump. Is this- is this a good place for a rhino to be? I feel like a rhino would just freak out about every single aspect of this situation. <laughs> Not only being ridden by a monkey, with another monkey eating its ass at the same time, uh, but also being in a lava cave, in a fucking, like, volcano, floating on a hot air balloon, sticking its horn up a bee's ass, no thanks. They don't like that. 
Also, um, I died again. That one was not horse shit, that was my own fault. She's sipping her juice! This is not a time to be sipping your juice, Dixie! She, she, I think she uses her, like, prehensile toes to sip the cup. Which I would say is a cute detail, but I just know someone's jerking off to that. Squawk's shaft. Do I... I don't even need to say anything, right? That just... that's like the, the free space on your gamer joke bingo card. Is Squawk's shaft. You don't even need to make a joke there. <laughs> Look, that was like a pitch shifted one. It sounded like puking, kind of. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy from behind. He'll never see it coming. <gasps> he saw it coming. And there's like a there's like a cool fast way to get through every level too. It's like if you're really on top of your game, you can like comfortably first cycle everything. You know. Oh! I tried to do it there, and I instantly got fucked. <laughs> Love his face when he's falling down. <laughs> it looks like he's, his life is flashing before his eyes. <laughs> Just so terrified. That's like one of the pogs. One of the new pogs. Just looks like a scream of abject terror. It's great. So, another free gamer joke. Squawk spits eggs out of his mouth? That's a thing, I guess? Or are they like nuts? I always thought they might be like nuts, but I think they're eggs. Nintendo just can't figure out the egg situation. N nobody at Nintendo ever attended, like, classical biology. First Yoshi, that now this. Coconuts? They're like spotted eggs, look at them. That's an egg. That is an egg. That is a little spotted little, like, fancy bird egg. So this is the sword, right? Your sword is enough! That is just not at all how, like, Guanam sounds. This is a fun, like, exciting boss, you know? Oh, shit. It's kind of a long boss, though, right? It has, like, a bunch of phases. Because then it loses the hand and just, like, flies around at you. Which makes you wonder what the hand was even really doing in the first place. The hand was just holding this thing back, honestly. Okay. Oh, shite! Did that hit it? No. That did not hit it. Cool. Oh. God, it's- it's- it, No fucking slouch, either. This game's kinda tough. Like, I, I'm getting through it pretty fine so far, but like... Mmm. It's- it's like... Tangible feeling of actual danger is pretty nice in one of these games, you know? I feel like Mario games kind of got bland because they maybe lost a bit of that edge. And it's- but I, I don't feel like this game is tough in the same way that so many other games are tough. Uh, from like the same time, or from maybe like slightly before this, you know? Like we got, like, Punch-Out. NES Punch-Out. It's kind of hard in like a different way, you know? It is well thought out. That's- that's exactly what it is. It feels- it's designed with a- with a lot of good intent. Glimmer's Galleon. Oh right, this one's annoying. This is the one where the thing, every time you turn around, the thing flashes a fucking flashlight right in your eyes. How are you surviving underwater? I guess they are, they're, they're like crocodile people. Oh, there he is. All right, here he is, folks. Yep, 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 you like that? You know what would like completely ruin this game is if Dixie could take damage or if your, your secondary Kong could take damage while they were like not in like the primary position and they're just drifting behind you. Can you imagine? Monkey S. There's gotta be like a Diddy Kong version of Monka S out there, right? That's Monkey S. I guess, uh, let's just... Let's dix it up. Did you know that in the TV show, Diddy just calls Dixie Dix? It's, it's, it's real good. It's some Squawk's Shaft humor. Oh! oh! <laughs> he dipped! Okay, presumably he's just under the surface of the water there. Right? Is it- he just vanishes? He slowly dips under the water and then really fucking quickly under the water also gets out of the way, I guess. God, just- just a blast. And great music. Look, now- now it's like we've- we've got into the game, and now they're like, alright, hit him with a jam! Hit him with a fucking jam! They're ready! <laughs> that was a pretty fucking definitive death. I like that the- the Kremlings, they have a sense of style, you know? It's like, they dress for the occasion and they all have like thematic outfits in each game. It's cute, I'm- I'm, I'm glad they do it. Super Snake Jump! I remember in the- in the GBA one, you could get him going fucking insane. Like, uh, maybe I should like go down? Is that, do I have the thing, do I go down now? <laughs> nope! Nope, turns out you do not do that, and in fact you get Vord. 
finally time. It is finally time for the iconic jam of the game. And also some of the hardest levels. This isn't even the- it's like sour please, yeah, but like, it's like a slow- it's like sa slower please. That just sounds like something you say during sex. But the music is the clear standout. It's just like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck, David Wise? There's always like- it's always like godlike soundtracks in these games, and then also, every once in a while, David Wise is just like, by the way, do you want like an actual like godlike real song? It's like not even good like in the context of the video game, but just generally? I mean, I guess that's most of the soundtrack, honestly. Alright, here's the fuck you enemy. You ready? There's the fuck you enemy. They love to throw that in. Alright, what is this? Are we fighting Clubba? Oh, we're fighting Clubba as a boss. Okay, right. Oh no, a barrel that literally in its current form cannot damage me at all. What a devastating attack that is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Pretty simple boss. I don't think it gets any more complicated either, does it? Oh! He just goes faster. To the point where if you get hit by any of his stuns, you're fucked. I think that's it? No, one more. Oh shit! He did a new thing! Fuck. Get out of town, Clubba. Oh what, that's not it?! This shit is ridiculous! How many fucking hits?! Have you ever heard of three and then done, boss? Oh shit, that's like Dung Defender. I mean, I know that you can't like, uh, you know... Something getting hit in the foreground and then falling into the background, I guess, is kind of a trope in video games, but... Just reminded me of Dung Defender. It just feels good. It, similar to Hollow Knight, even. Just feels good to play. Hornet Hole! That's the sequel to Squawk's Shaft. Right, and the honey is the gimmick of this world. Oh yeah, and the spider is immune to honey stickiness because he has the drip. Spiders and hornets have that whole thing. They have a rivalry between them. The whole cutting you open, laying my, my babies in your belly type thing. It's usually frowned upon in other cultures. Not for spiders and hornets. They, they go right for that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? This is like enemies that are normally nullified by rolling, but in that situation you cannot roll. Oh, god damn it! I thought I was gonna stick to the wall! This is my like first struggle level so far. You got your struggles. I got him too! Hey, uh, so that- no. No, 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 no. Rewind. Look at that. Look at- you saw what just happened. You saw what just happened. It went off screen and it respawned. That was not me misunderstanding its patterns, that was me reloading the goddamn enemy. No, kill me. I just had to go back to make sure I wasn't fucking crazy. Because that was some horse shit. Is there bad music in this series? I'm sure there are some songs that are kind of annoying that we just forget about. But, uh, man, are they mostly bangers. Oh, what?! I needed to be holding Y, I was... Mm. So I'm going to now be holding Y for the entire rest of the level, even though it has no effect on the cart. Alright. Oh! Yeah. Ooh. Ha! Oh, shite. Okay, that works. God, this is nerve-wracking! Oh! Oh, wow. Jape. Beetle. We're the fucking beetles. What are you going to do about it? Spit in our mouths? <laughs> Why did I said that? I always like the headcanon that the beetles just speak in unison. Like they're quadruplets. You know? <gasps> I could not turn around. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, you know, human reaction time. These bees. Bees have to be the most hated enemy in this game, right? Oh god. This is very nerve-wracking. Oh, oh, uh, 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 Did a bee just appear out of nowhere? Chat, did a bee just appear out of nowhere? Just now. Am I crazy, or did a bee just come out of nothing? I know I touched the ceiling, but the bees just, like, popped into existence right when I did. And they were, like, n not that near me. <laughs> damn you. God damn you. That part sucks. <laughs> oh, fuck that. And then this! Oh, God. Damn it. This is basically a swimming level. This is a swimming level. You realize that, right? It's, it's in air, but this is a swimming level. Yes, swimming level, but the walls kill you. Yes. Flying really is just air swimming, if you think about it, even in real life. <laughs> that was like a sustained note for a second. My gripe became like a, a musical tone. Alright, so this one's a race. I remember this. This is so cool. God. 
Who, who made this roller coaster? Who built this? They should be fired. <laughs> Completely real and legal SNES. Hey, this is on a Switch. I legally own this game. I legally own this game twice, actually. GBA and SNES. The Super Nintendo's a lame Genesis. All right, I know what you're saying, but I'm gonna hit you with a word here. Games. That is all. All right. Uh, that's not the way I went to eat myself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 Do you ever do that? Just try to like hold right and make it work. Didn't work. Did not work out. Oh shit! I should have kept him alive, huh? Yeah. Got. Oh. Oh. Are they? Does she eat the honey? She's eating the honey. Another little detail I either never noticed or that just straight up isn't in the other version of the game. Dixie's hair just loves to look like banana. I remember this because the second half of this level took me ages to beat. Oh my god! I love how because he's a rhinoceros, just I guess that means he's fucking invincible from the front or something. Why can he stomp on spiky bees? God damn it. But not that one. Wait, I don't even get it. He can stomp on bees, but it, except if they're big. All right. That's not the big bee yet. Oh, that's the big bee! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, wow, that wasn't so bad at all. King Zing Sting. Oh, God, this is a bird fight, isn't it? Oh. I only have two lives. You have to hit his th throbbing clitoris. Hitting him from behind, hitting him in the back, should really help in this scenario with Squawks' shaft. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, he goes fast. Ooh. Ooh, gee willikers, he goes quite fast, doesn't he? And and this is, I'm, I'm, this is a water level, so you'll have to excuse me while I play the water level. God damn it. Oh, oh, this one's hard, man. Oh, god. Oh, god, he's so fast. I'm dead, yep. All right, first game over. We get to see them, like, in jail and, like, with the shit kicked out of them. Right? Oh, no, they don't have, like, bandages and shit like the first one. No! Oh, I thought I could just sit there. Oh, ho, ho, ho! You lose all your banana coins on a game over? Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's the sort of shit where you're just like, why? Why? Why did you do that? Why? No, give me a reason. No, designer, say words. Give me a reason why you did that. D don't just do things for no reason. Get it! No! Get it! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! And that was one hit, that was one hit, and I need to do like five more. Just, just hit, hit him, please, for the love of God. Very, very tricky. Oh, oh, and then he instantly zoops up right to exactly where I am. That is a very cool move that you've done, sir. Just instantly fucking, like, heat-seeking missile me out. Uh, man, this is not cool. I wish they hadn't put this boss in the game. Or had instead just said, we're idiots on a sheet of paper instead of the boss, you know? Literally just like make a room where it's like, yeah, we had no fucking clue what to do for this boss. And it would be like an infamous boss. It would be like, it, it, nobody knows why this one boss, they just didn't put it in the game. They just didn't put him into the game for some reason. There's a, there's a special secret message from the creative team saying that just for whatever reason, they just didn't want to put a boss in this room. And then it's like after like 30 years, the secret finally comes out. The, the, the reason there was just a sheet of paper that said, sorry, no boss is because the boss was so bad they felt guilty putting it out. Oh my god. Die! Is that it? No, he's got- he's got more bees. He's got bee friends. Oh, that's cool! Yeah! Did you see every single egg I fire there? Just thread the goddamn needle? That was awesome! Very long fight. You got here, game. Very long fight. Are you done? A thousand more eggs, just to make sure. Are you done? Oh my god. Oh, what a turd. Oh. The really good music. This is like the secret best song. Oh my god. Oh, it scared me. Ooh, secret. That's a secret. Damn, I feel like you could almost just jump up with the hair. Not quite, though. They always have little clever ideas for these mini games, And they're usually not too brutal, which is nice because some of them, you like have to do the level over if you fuck them up. Oh god. Oh! E e e e e Imagine deciding to make your home a TNT barrel. Truly, you, you, you must have just nothing to live for. You can cheese this with Dixie. Oh, if I can do the controls right. Oh right, you need to be like pushing away to- yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh! 
Fuck me. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna get it. There we go. I'm just gonna do it how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna stop trying to cheese it. It's actually way harder. I like the thick coin! Like, I want to see the HD model of the thick coin. Oh my god, they love just dropping you in a little bit of a hot spot there. Just to keep you on edge, I guess. Oh, what the fuck is this one? Oh, 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 oh my god! This one's insane! Ooh, ooh. What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? Okay, if I die, I'm rewinding, because fuck doing that again. Shit, the, the bananas made me panic. I'm going back. I'm going back. I don't care. I don't want to do that one again. Oh, oh shit, let's take the time loss. Let's just see if I can do it. Okay, I can't do it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Now I'm getting too, like, anxious to fucking rewind here. Ooh. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I don't give a shit. Cheater. 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 I can't believe I watched a cheater. Coin's gotta be here. Yep. Wow, what a- I would hate to miss that coin. I need to- is, is this like a bouncy snake level? Also, this is the fucking wind level, oh my god. I hated this level. Wind Dixie over here. Anybody remember Because of Wind Dixie? Was that the name of it? It was- it was a fucking dog book. You know the weird genre of dog books? Alright, so this level sucks absolute fucking, like, fetid cocks! And it's exactly because of shit like that. Okay, okay, Oh shit, that's uh, that that stands for something unfortunate. <gasps> okay. God damn, this is so nerve wracking. I just don't know if they're gonna turn on the wind at any moment. I feel like they wouldn't in this part. <laughs> oh, they hit me with the gust backwards. Yeah, they hit me with the gust backwards. Yeah, the music is so good. David Wise, ladies and gentlemen. So it's fucking like madman. Isn't there like some story about how like aquatic ambience? It was like both aquatic ambience and sticker brush symphony or sticker bush symphony or whatever it is. They like required some sort of weird. They had to like develop new hardware for the chip or something or for the console to be able to like run that sound. That was a very tortured sound for the snake to make. Oh! I didn't. I didn't know it was gonna float away! Uh, is there even anywhere to, like, break this? Ooh. Uh, I hate it. I hate- I hate it! I hate it! It's hard to tell if it's going on a timer or if it's, uh, based on, like, your location. I think it was still based on my location there. That shit with the- with, with the fucking balloon floating away, that is outright cruel. They knew what they were doing. They knew what the fuck they were doing when they did that. Come on, stay up there. No. It, oh, it's rolling? Excuse me? <laughs> what? How to get this cannonball over there, man? I think it does have an arc. Why is it not... Why is it not landing up there? That's so weird. Is the wind affecting it? Because the wind is not affecting it in the way that I would assume it would. Maybe just, like, get... Come on, there you go. Why was, why was that not working with Dixie? Because of wind Dixie. Because of wind Dixie, guys. Ooh, I think that's game over, right? It doesn't auto save you between worlds, I don't think. So I'm probably just gonna rewind here, cause fuck that. Fuck going back to like the B boss, man. Yeah, fuck the hell out of that. Oi, that's a fuck that moment. I'm gonna go back as far as I goddamn can, <laughs> as I can. No, yeah, now it's on a timer. Or is it? What is happening? God. I hate this level. It, is this dead? Is, is this a dead pit? Is this a pit that, that that makes death? How am I... Did I just sacrifice Diddy for this? <laughs> Diddy's like, where are we going, Dixie? No, right? Then not even that can reach. <laughs> Hold on, how the fuck do you get this one? You must have to jump off the top. Which I, I didn't even have fucking, like, time to react. It's like, oh, oh. It's the fiddliest thing ever, and then you fucking... Dixie dicks your way over here. Oh, destroy them all. They really- that- that like graphic really gets across the idea of destroying them too. They're like breaking that guy's fucking like arm. They're like really fucking up that guy. They're not just going bonk on his head. They are mangling him up. 
This is the worst parrot. This is like everybody's least favorite animal buddy. Actually, no, do, does anybody remember the, the most forgettable pet in all of Donkey Kong? It's the, it's Perry, the platypus, no. It's Perry the parallel bird. Oh, I got a life right before I died, wow. Uh, it, it's in Donkey Kong Country 3, the one that just flies above you and has like no personality. I hate this fucking bird, I hate this bird. I wish I was just doing this with Dixie. It just makes your hitbox bigger, it's because the her, the bird also gets hit. You know what? Oh! Oh! Look at Diddy, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on, man. <laughs> Am I alive? Is this okay? I'm gonna instantly die. Oh, 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 Pog. Pog, absolute Pog. Look at that guy. He's just ready to go. What a creep. His legs are like stuck in the ground too. Can we kill this guy? Thank you. Yes, there, I think there are enemies in this game that have two peg legs. Was that one of them? We just like couldn't see them. Or he had, he like took them off. They were getting uncomfortable. Prosthetics, man. The story of people who wear prosthetic limbs is not told accurately in anything but Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy's Kong Quest. I think this guy's got two hook hands, too. They, they, they really uh, are an equal opportunity hiring agency over there at the Kremlings. We got a guy with two hook hands and two peg legs. Weird voice for the spider. Is that the same voice for the snake? Oh! Did you see how fast that went away? What the fuck? What are the rules? I shot that one and then like, it, I stepped on it once and it instantly went away. Is it after you jump on them and go away? Is that what's going on? Hold on. No, what the fuck was up with that one? Huh? Oh. <laughs> that just happens sometimes with every three to four webs. Third or fourth web. Wow, that's cool. A nice feature. Oh, there it happened again! That's cool! What? Uh, ew. Look, it's happening a ton now. It's like you have to watch them, and if they like start jittering a bunch, then that's like a fuck you web. Look, that was a fuck you web. I have to- look, that's- there's another one. You can like look for them. Is that intentional? Did they put that in the game? That's pretty fucked up if they put that in the game. And if that's not like a weird glitch. I'm so worried about the fuck you web coming in. It's like if you're moving at a steady pace, it should be fine, but... Uh, I'm not always moving at a steady pace. Look at that. What if that had been the one that I had to, like, wait on? Oh, It's the Rare logo, Oh, They like to do these little Easter eggy type things. That's cute. Rareware has- er, er, Rare had- like, classic Rare had some hallmarks. I would've been so pissed if that had hit me. They love quizzes. They love putting fucking quizzes in their games. And they love putting their logo into things and, like, the name of the game and shit. I don't, know, I don't know how many times you have to spell Banjo-Kazooie in Banjo-Kazooie. Someone said, kind of wish I played games when I was younger, so I could have that nostalgia. Honestly, uh... I didn't... I didn't really play games much when I was younger, either. I didn't really play games much as a little kid. A lot of my nostalgia for games comes from, like, visiting a friend's house, and them having video games, including this one in particular, actually. You can... I've found that you can sort of tap into nostalgia for a lot of these, like, re old retro games, even without having actually played them. Like, they still have that nostalgic, sort of childlike quality to them. So, explain to me what's happening here with this attack. No, tell me, Rare Rare. He hits me with the ghost, he attacks me with the ghost birds, and then one of them's a real bird, and then that bird just makes a barrel appear. <laughs> Feels like a very hand wavy, like, and then you beat the boss, I don't know. Then you win. You happy? Can we do lunch yet? Can we go to lunch? Wait, if I had just held on to it, would that have worked? Yes. Wow, I'm literally not doing that fight again. Fuck that. <laughs> Lesson learned. I did it. Oh, I'm clearly doing this very wrong. I think I might need Dixie for this. There you go. Oh, and then they put you- they put one of those guys there. That's really cool. That's really cool that they did that. And that's a game over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can't tell me that was my fault. <laughs> you can tell me, but you're a liar. What was I meant to do there? And then the screen literally dragged me into that guy's projectile. As I was, like, dodging it. It's like I said, all the wind levels. I remember all the wind levels sucked. Oh, this, this really stinks. This is really bad. Oh god, it's just like so... 
Ooh, anything where you're not like using the amazing, like, am I gonna die doing this? Am I gonna die right now? Oh my god! You're joking, man! That is some fucking hot nonsense. Oh, pissed out. Oh! That really was ooh. Anyone else feel that? Anyone else feeling ooh right now? That was pretty fucking ooh. Not only was there a fuck you, it's a barrel in disguise enemy there, that's fine. Getting hit by it instantly tr inescapable, true comboed me into finishing the level. I'm actually angry at that. Actually really mad. 100%ing this game is quite the ordeal. I think the, the way that so many people beat these sorts of games as kids, though, including myself, is, uh, infinite time. <laughs> kids have jack shit all to do. They have, like, one sheet of homework every day. This is dumb is what this is. Whoa, whoa! Did you see Diddy? Diddy just zooped! Oh, oh! <gasps> Interesting. Oh, right, that guy, like, steals lives from you. Damn, that's brutal. Higher plane. She's all yours, dudes! So let's just go back to the first world and let's just clear out... That'll be the thing to end off the stream with. Do the first world, clear out all the shit that we didn't get. Um, Dixie, you're not the best for this. Actually, Dixie, you're the best for this. So now I can just... Exit out. It's like L-R-A, right? And there it is! Yay! Alright, that's cool. That's a good feature. Fish! Oh look, Dixie's still swimming. What are you swimming on, Dixie? What are you doing? Also, I am gouging your eyes out. Because of Swim Dixie. Dixie is, is now standing underwater. Dixie, what the fuck? DK coin is in this bonus? Ek fucking excuse me? Wow. Wow. And that's why those bananas are there. Good Jesus. That's not cool. A anyone else think that's not cool? How did I get that one when I was younger? This is baffling my mind. I probably looked it up. Let's be honest. Baby Gray was smart. I, I don't even know. It's like, oh, there's a chest right here. What the fuck? More like I was criminally insane if I figured that shit out on my own. Because that, like, breaks the rules of the video game. Somebody said that's the only time that's ever done. That is the only DK coin. It's in a bonus level, and I'm just taking that from the word of the chat member, but if that's true, fuck that. That's some nonsense. Oh, find the coin. All right, so logically it's the second one, right? Or no, there's several. So it's gotta be this one, right here. Yep. It, it, it's that- I know the rules. That's the one it has to be, like, psychologically. I should have done the cool thing. In fact, no, let's do the cool thing. Let's be cool. No, no, wait, no, I, I don't know. Not stop until the cool thing happens. Nope. I don't even know if you can. Go, like, in between them, you know? No! No! It's possible. It, it's doable. You can do it. I will do it. Mmm! Oh. Okay, it's really tricky to do. Oh, I'm messing up the controls. <laughs> it can be done. It can be done. <laughs> it has to be doable. Ooh. Yeah! There we go. I did it. 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 Now just edit it so that it looks seamlessly like I did that the first try. Uh, it will be very easy to do that editing wise, of course. Wait, then who's in this DK barrel? <laughs> I thought Dixie was in this one, but then I then I popped a barrel that had the actual Dixie in it. So so what am I What am I holding? You like hear like a growling coming from inside. Oh, that was slick. Do I have a yee yee ass haircut? I don't know what that means. Oh, that was a cool enemy. That was a really cool enemy. I don't know what the logic is of that particular moment, but sure. 
Oh, no, no! I didn't know that would lock me in. God, what a, what a cruel DK coin. It, what happens if you jump into that barrel it, just without thinking? Then you're just screwed. You're locked into the end of the level. Damn. What is the technology behind these barrels? What, what makes them shoot things out of them? These are things that I never questioned when I was younger. What, why do the barrels blast you? <laughs> When I went, when I watched this at a friend's house, the thing that I remember is... I remember playing the first game and seeing Candy Kong blowing the kiss to DK. And I remember the jumping into the airplane barrel at Funky's. I'm not gonna lie, Candy Kong blowing the kiss may have stirred a thing or two in my, in my fucking like 10 year old loins. How about I never use the phrase 10 year old loins again? You know that shit like Mindy in the Spongebob movie? Where you have like a crush on like an imaginary character, and in retrospect it's like a fucking like disgusting pukey representation of this like furry character in this. Where it's like, it's like a cluster of like 30 pixels representing a sexy monkey. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Or uh, who's the other one? Lola Bunny. They're all rabbits. Is there- hold on. I tried to glide, I really did. Glide. Glide, what? Gl glide! Wait, am I- am I crazy? What the fuck? I can't do it when I'm jumping off of this, for whatever reason. Why? L give me a reason, Rareware. Okay, there is not a fucking secret there, because they literally- you can't glide after jumping on of, off of it. For no reason. I hate shit like that, man, where it's just like there's no reason for something to happen, and then it happens. And you're like, man, I wish that it had a reason for happening. And not... No reason. Oh! I realized, you guys heard the like, premature oh before I even died, because I was like, that's way too much momentum. That is entirely too much momentum to have. Oh! I have narrowly avoided death several times. And then this is, oh, I remember this. Um, spin? Play the music, there's like a thousand different songs you can do for this. Play the music. Okay, so it's this one. Uh, is it just there? Wait, hold on. <laughs> is it just chillin' there? It just stops? It just stops. I'm right here. You, you, my ass is here for the taking. You can have it be. Wow. Uh, these birds are weird. Look at these, like, frighteningly well-animated birds. For the SNES. Before we dive into Monkey Game, let me just quickly direct your attention to, uh, this object in the lower right corner of this image. This- this thing that's sort of protruding from off frame. I'm sure it's perfectly innocent. But, you can't help but notice, when examining this object, that it does in fact resemble a- a- a, a big cock. A big cock that's sticking out from off frame. And in fact, the person who- the, the owner of this cock is so badass that they have a- they have a weed leaf tattooed on the side. Uh, I- I- I appreciate the help. Uh, but I- I would- I would appreciate it maybe more when I ask for it. I know I- I don't want to sound like a snappy teacher. You know what the voice I just did was, was like, students are getting rowdy in the room and the teacher goes, I'll wait. And that shit like never works. That's the voice I just did. Do you guys want to see my- my gamer card? I got out my old Game Boy. And I looked up my- I was like, am, am I sure I actually 100% of this game? And I looked at it, and it actually does say 102%. Believe it or not. I played the shit out of this game, and admittedly, this version's a lot easier because the save points aren't limited. You can just save at any point. Get the webcam out. Hey, oh, that's flattering. Good lighting. Hey guys, let me show you my Game Boy score. I, I want to show you guys because I also apparently played the fuck out of this, like... Are you gonna be able to see this? It says 99.59. Oh, it's it's mirrored. Shit. Well, someone, if anybody cares enough, they can screenshot that and mirror it again. I don't really give enough of a shit. But I played 99.59 hours of this game, apparently, and I got 102% on my top save file. And then the other ones are like... 7 hours and 16 hours, and they're both at like 50%, so I probably just ran through the game again. Someone said I look so comfy, and then another person said I look deceased. <laughs> Can't you both be right? I'll be comfortable when I'm dead. 
So I, th I think I remember hearing at some point that Sticker Brush or Sticker Bush or whatever the fuck it is. Sticker Brush Symphony was going to be the theme for the water levels. Oh, right. But then they were like, no, this doesn't really fit the water levels. Let's put it with these weird bramble levels. Yeah, sure. Why do you become fish? Uh, it's, it's part of the lore. No, I touched a barrel that had a picture of a fish on it, and now I am the fish. And that is the only explanation you'll ever get. It's monkey world. Sometimes you ride the animals, sometimes you become the animals. It all depends on what the game designer just felt like doing that day. Hear me out. Donkey Kong and company, they turn into animals, but they themselves are animals. Are they furries? Are they fishies? Are they scalies for turning into the snake? These are questions only God can answer. Maybe down here? Ooh! Oh! <coughs> I'm in the rock, I'm in the rock, I'm in the rock, I'm inside the rock! Oh, it pushed me out. Alright, <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's chill. Andrew and I were talking about the idea of uh, going on, what is it called, cameo? And commissioning Patrick Warburton to just say all sorts of dumb things like, bruh, <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> I think my favorite one was, yeah, French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. I would love that. I would pay real money. I'd pay like $40 to hear him say that. Yeah, Andrew was telling me about Gilbert Gottfried. I pissed and shitted and came! I really just- if- if I got Patrick Warburton to say bruh, I- I would like make it my text tone notification, you know? I'm pissing and shitting and coming! My parents heard you. You're listening to this over speakers in your parents' house? Should I whisper? I pissed and shit and I, I came. I put two weeks of shit in my diaper. I'm Gilbert Gottfried. I wonder, if, if, do they have like limits? You know, where they're like, I won't say this, this or that. I mean, I'm sure they won't say like horrible slurs, but it seems like some of them, their limits are quite low. I have my whole family watching with me. <laughs> Let's gather around the campfire and watch Grapefruit. Every Christmas, the whole fam damnly gets together to watch dumb streamer scream about coming and shitting and pissing. This really do make me feel like when you are finna boing, though. Stronghold Showdown. I don't remember what this is. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Easiest level of my life! Wait, really? That was the entire level, are you joking? Wait! <laughs> that was the boss. I walked into the room, and I beatboxed. That's probably the best boss in all of gaming history, I would say. I wanna play that again. Alright, K. Rule Duel, let's fucking go. Oh shit, he's like hitting him. He's spanking him, oh my god. Monkey abuse. All right, here it is, the, the pirate K. Rule fight. So I think I need to chill and then it'll recede back into being a normal cannonball. I vaguely remember this. I'm sure it'll come back to me as the fight goes on. This isn't the one where he turns fucking invisible, is it? I think that's the third one. No, I think that's this one. I think that's like the secret one in this one. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> and the last one was a barrel with a cannonball in it? Excuse me? What kind of fucked up gun is that? Oh my god, ghosts! Oh! Oh! No! Okay. Oh, and then he goes real slow. Oh, damn. That's fucked up. Oh, now he's gonna start going invisible. Oh, fuck me. That's brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> Just suck! Oh! Don't suck me! No! Get out of here. What? It sparked an extra amount. It japed me. They tried to jape me. Oh my god. Damn. I nailed it, man. What was that, like second try? Punch him, yeah! Get him out of here! Oh, that's the best reward. We get to see Donkey Kong just come up and just straight up deck his ass. Oh my god, it gets eaten by sharks, dude. The fuck? Yeah. Oh shit, Mario did better than me. Wait, what? Oh, it's because I didn't get all the Lost World ones. Okay. 
Well, next time we will be doing that. I think, honestly, the final boss of this game, I like a lot better than the one in the first game. And I'm not just saying that because the first game, it took me like a trillion attempts, and this this time it took me like two. I genuinely think this one's just like, it, it's it's got a ton of variety for one boss. And uh, I, I think it's, it's a little easier than the first game. First game, he just kind of jumps around uh, kind of unpredictably. Slide. Unpredictably if you don't know the patterns beforehand, whereas here it's like you can sort of adapt while you're playing it. Man, the roller coaster levels are so fun. There's there's fireworks going on outside. Is there somebody who was watching the stream and now they're celebrating with some fireworks? Oh, it's uh, it's inauguration day. So, yeah, I get what people are doing. They're watching the stream and they're they're, they're they've got inauguration day turned off and they're watching the stream and they're putting the fireworks up for me. I get it. It's grapefruit beat DKC two day. So I, I usually talk about how much I liked the game during the credits. And you guys know I've been talking about it the whole time. I love this game. This is a great game. It's got some frustrating aspects to it. But a uh, really, really fun platformer with a ton of variety. Amazing control scheme. Really great level design. It, it's, it's deserving of a lot of the praise that it gets. I don't know if it's like my favorite ever, but it's really, really good. D Wise. Shout out to my man, David Wise. Such good shit in this game. Amazing soundtrack. Scurvy chimps ahoy! Come on me yellow bellies! What is, uh, what does yellow belly mean? <laughs> what is the origin of, what is the etymology of that phrase, do you suppose? Oh, oh they put the cunt enemy in there. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna make what's called a little save state. Just so I can, you know. Not have to go save and do the whole fucking thing every time. I mean, just go, pr just like pretend I went into a level, got some fucking banana coins, went to the save point, saved the game, and then came back here, and then every two deaths, I had to come back from the save point and re-navigate the menu. The, 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 the world map. Just pretend I did all that nonsense. Every single time. I feel like I can make that jump. Yeah. It's just then there's this douche. Oh, but I'm invincible because I don't have any lives. Eat shit. You cannot steal from a man who has given you everything. Have any of these songs been recreated with better audio? They actually, like, most of them have, yes. If you look up on YouTube, Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack, I, I think they've done it for all three of the games to some degree. I don't know if, like, every single song has been done, but actually there's been tons of work done with that, where there's, uh... HD versions of these that are uncrustified, and they sound really good. I used one to start off one of the streams. This final world is where it gets, like, proper challenging, I think. Oh man, this is... I don't know where any of the secrets are, by the way. I have not found any of the secrets so far. Um, maybe I should be on the lookout, because I don't want to do some of these levels over, man. Well, at least I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Although it might... I probably soon will. There we go. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this shit. Uh, I am not Dixie Kong. I am not Dixie Kong. Mm -hmm. Gee. Oh, yeah, but, but that's just nothing. What is the point of this? Pray tell. It's not so you can get the bananas, because you can already get the bananas in the barrel. Is the thing going to come back? I don't think it's going to come back. What the f actual fuck? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. Oh, that keeps going. I thought that was going to come back for me. Wow, well, that was cool. That was a good attempt. Oh! This part's fucking tough. Cranky Kong would ace this. Well, in Tropical Freeze, we actually do get to see that Tra Cranky Kong actually does have superior platforming ability. It's not even, he wasn't, he was never lying. He's actually a badass. He's got like the best ability. The bouncy cane. Oh, I know it's the special world. I was expecting hard. That's why at the end of last stream, even though there's only six levels, at the end of last stream, I was like, hmm, I think I'm gonna hold off on doing this until the next stream, because it's probably gonna take me a while. Oh, you're making me do two! You're making me do two right now! Where's the fuck you enemy? Where's the fuck you enemy? That's gonna come out of nowhere. There's the fuck you enemy. Yep, there it is, there it is, there it is. 
That, okay, that is cruel, though. Look at what they do here. The screen scrolls. The screen only scrolls enough, like, before you're touching the barrel, just barely enough to see that banana. And then, finally, you actually go into the barrel, and... I bet for, like, 90 per, per fucking cent of people played this level. Oh, good. Wind Spider Bramble level. 90% of people who played this probably saw that and went, oh shit, like as they were going in the barrel. Oh, this is like the level in the third game where it's underwater and it has the like wind effect basically where it's like a current. And that level sucks and this level is here in the game. What's, what's around the next corner? Death. No doubt. No, no doubt death. No doubt death! Bees. Bees! Oh, I thought it would keep moving! Ah! I thought it would continue to move forward because there was literally nothing ahead of it. It just decided to turn around. Okay, so I yeah, I guess that was all of them. So now we're gonna do Crocodile Core. Which the... The C in Crocodile? I, I feel like that should be a K too, right? Oh, look at that. The little, like, beam that's coming out of the, uh... Volcano. Is, is like in the in the middle of this like weird Aztec shit that he's got. So I guess this uh, this boss pattern is just kind of insane. I kind of thought maybe there was some like uh, you know the boss won't become actually fightable properly until you get all the coins or something. But nope. This is just his actual pattern. That's kind of neat. They like they make you prepare with the ones that don't actually kill you. And they- and then they move on to the ones that do kill you, in fact. Okay, all that- All that for a drop of blood! Ah! Wait, what? Is there like a special death animation for that? Oh, weird. That's kinda cool. Yeah, so the final boss of the main game wasn't too bad. This guy's tough. He must take more than one hit, right? I feel like that one cannonball shot can't have been the actual end of the fight, but it might have been? He does do a lot here. He does shoot quite a lot of times. I would like for it to be the end, but uh, I don't think it is. Okay. Please tell me that's it. Oh my god, was that really it? Bruh! Wait. One hit? So I nearly first tried this fucking guy. That can't be it. Wait, is it like a fake out like the first game? Bruh! Wow, okay. Damn. Diddy, this is not the time to juggle. Wow, nice. Now I'm the champ, baby. <laughs> I like the no hopers shine sign. Whoa, shine. Next to the earthworm gym and the in the sonic shoes and shit. Right next to the trash. Oh, I forgot about this. You get a little scene. Awesome. So we sunk Crocodile Isle, so why is it still there in DK64? I love the way this scene looks. This is so fucking, like, nostalgic. Super cool, you just get a little nice atmospheric piece of artwork here. At the very end. Wow. Well, what a fun fucking game, folks. I had... Of course, this game makes, like, everyone fucking rage at a certain point. But, uh, I still think this is one of the best platformers ever made. But, uh, great music, great platforming. The, the graphics are kind of dated, but even they look great in their own way. All the, you can tell so much love and care went into the, the, the making of this game, so... I still think this is one of my favorites uh, out of the series, of course. The whole series is pretty amazing, but uh, I can't wait to do more. We're gonna be doing the third one, we're gonna do the Returns series, and hell, if they make more, we'll do more.